Okay, let's use the concept of ratio to solve a problem which is given to you in the form of income and expenditure of a family. The incomes of A and B are in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So there are two people A and B and their income is given to be in the ratio of 3 is to 2 and their expenditure are rupees 1000 each. So their expenditure is basically rupees 1000 each. Then you are told if their savings are in the ratio of 7 is to 4. Okay, savings are in the ratio of 7 is to 4 then B's income is, so you need to find out how much is B's income. Now, do you know what is the relationship between income, expense and savings? Basically, the savings are equal to income minus expenditure. Right? Now, let's say for example, if you are told that the income of A and B are in the ratio of 3 is to 2, can we say that let A's income be 3x and B's income be 2x? Right? So what will be the savings of A? The savings of A upon B, okay, which is given to you as being in the ratio of 7 upon 4 is equal to, so savings of A is equal to what? Income of A minus expenditure of A. So 3x minus 1000 and the savings of B are 2x minus 1000. This, why? Because savings is equal to income which is this column minus expenditure. Now you've got an equation where you have x, right? So can we find out the value of x? So we do 7 times 2x minus 1000 is equal to 4 times 3x minus 1000. So 7 times 2x gives you 14x minus 7000 is equal to 4 times 3x minus or actually let me just open the bracket over here 12x minus 4000. So 14x move this 12x to the side minus 12x is equal to minus 4000 plus 7000. 3000 is equal to 2x. Now incidentally B's income is what? 2x, right? So we don't need to do any more jugglery over here. B's income is equal to 3000 which is what? Option number A, right? So the only thing which was worth understanding here is if you know what does savings stand for? It's income minus expenditure. So you are already given the ratio of savings. You find out what the savings will be in terms of the given data and then equate the two.